Hi everybody, in this video we're going to take a look at how to do some of basic editing of your Canvas Studio screen recording and also some advanced editing as well. Uh, so let's jump over to our screen here. Here's where we left off with our last video. So we had just done a screen recording uh, and we're now here in this um, editing screen. So the first thing we're going to do is just add the basic information. So we're going to go over here. We'll, we'll give this a, a name. So we'll call this test screen recording and we can give it a description if we like to video that shows you how to do a screen recording now if that's all you want to do you don't want to do any editing that's fine you can go straight ahead and click upload however if you want to do any editing, don't click up your upload just yet because it does make it difficult to go back and make any changes. Once you upload, it's pretty much finished. Um, so before I click that, there's a couple of things I want to show you. The first one is we have some basic editing um, that we can do here. So on our screen here, this is our video. It's a little preview of our video. Down the bottom here, we have a timeline of our video and these little bars here, there's sort of little mountain peaks. Um, that's our audio. So that's just showing you where the audio is being recorded. What I can do is I can press play. And now I can start recording. And so I could watch that through if I want to double check. Um, but what you may want to do as well, what generally happens with a lot of these type of videos is you might have a little bit of um, blank air at the start and the end of the video from when you've pressed record and when you've stopped recording. Um, and you may want to cut that out. So the way to do that is very simple. Put your um, put your cursor here so you can click and drag this to anywhere you need to uh, and find the spot that you want to start your video at. And then you take this end piece here and you click on that and you can actually drag that in and out. So that's going to allow you to uh, trim the start of your video. And if we go to the to the one at the very end here, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to click on that and drag that in and that's going to allow us to trim the end as well. So that's how you can do some very basic trimming of your video before you upload it. So again, at this stage, maybe you're happy with that. You just want to cut the sort of blank air from the start and the end and you're ready to hit upload. However, there's also some more things you can do within Canvas Studio that, that are pretty powerful. So let's take a look at that now. What I want to do here is go into my edit button. So this is going to give me a different screen here once I click that. So here we are in the editing screen of Canvas Studio. Once again, down the bottom, this is our timeline here. Uh, you can see those peaks and valleys again. That's our audio. If we need to, we can press the play button uh, to, to play through the video, or we can take our little timeline cursor here and scrub through the video there. Also got a, a little time code there to know where we are in the video. Up the top here as well, we have some options. Um, this is just going to show us the size of the, of the video so we can change that if we need to. Uh, we can turn the audio on and off. So maybe you've accidentally recorded the video with audio um, and you uh, and you want to get rid of that, so you can actually just click that to turn it off. Um, or I could even um, import a file as well. So, for instance, maybe you've you've recorded a voiceover separately on your phone, uh, and you can import that in um, there. You can also add in a backing track as well if you need to by clicking the plus music button. Uh, and then we have a few options about what you want to see on the screen, so we can. At the moment, we can see the cursor. So up here, you can see a recording of where my mouse cursor was during the screen recording. Uh, but I can select that off if you don't want to see that cursor. Um, but in this case, I'm happy to leave it on. Uh, also, perhaps maybe you want to get rid of your webcam so we can turn the webcam off from your recording as well. So there's some of the basic features on the, on the right-hand side there. Um, when we come down to the timeline though again, um, you can actually see we when we hover over the, uh, the the little time code bar there, we actually have this drop down menu of tools. So if we click that open, 
that's actually going to give us quite a lot of tools that we can use to start editing this piece. Um, so let's take a look at how some of those work here. We're not going to, um, we don't have very much time to go through every single one of them. It would take a while, um, but I'll show you the basics of how they work and then you can experiment with those. So we already looked at how to trim the start and the end before, and you can do that here as well. However, using the cut tool, we can also cut bits out from the middle. Um, say perhaps here I have this area where we've got sort of no talking. Um, maybe I want to cut that out. So I'm going to put my timeline uh, right here at the start of that area. I'm going to go to my drop down menu. I'm going to select cut because we want to cut something out of this. And you can see now this area here has changed. We've got this sort of little red shaded area. Um, so what I can do is actually I can click and drag these open and, and or, or wider. I can drag that either side. And basically what that is, is anything that falls inside of that red area, uh, when I select it, it's going to cut it from the video. So in this case, I just want to maybe cut this one little section there. I'm happy with that. If you want, you can press the play button to give a preview of, of what that looks like without this, without the section that you're about to cut. So I can press that. Maybe I'll use have the weight of and so you can see there, it's it's made that cut for me, showed me what it looks like. Let's say I'm happy with that one. Uh, so I'm going to press OK. Now you can see we have that little red dotted line there. So that's showing us that we've made an edit in that spot. Um, and now perhaps you're thinking, oh, actually, I don't think I want to make that cut. I think I want to leave that in there. So let's go back to that area and, and, and drag this uh, timeline marker there right onto that red dash. And you see, once I drag that over there, we now get this option in the menu bar. It's kind of showing us that there's a there's an edit there um, and it's using the cut tool. So if I select that, if I click that open, um, I actually can remove that edit. And now you'll see that gap there is back. So we can leave that. But let's take a look at some of the other options we have in here as well. So we've got our tool section here. I'm going to open that up. We've just used cut. We also can use copy. So we can highlight a section of the video and copy that in just like we've oh, copy that across just like we've um, used the cut. Uh, we've also got the hide cursor and webcam thing as well. So Earlier, you would have seen that we could have selected the cursor and the webcam off for the whole video. Um, however, perhaps you don't want it off for the whole video. Perhaps you only want it off for a, a small section. Um, you know, you may be on a slide that has some writing where the webcam is and you just want to get rid of the webcam from that section. So what we can do is, you know, you drag to that area, go to your tools, go to hide, select webcam, and we're just going to, like we did before, take this cursor and drag that across. So that orange shaded area there is now where we're going to make that edit. Let's press play to run a preview. For a line here. You can see this that is now is gone for recording. that section. Maybe I can underline something that's... So it, that looked pretty good. The webcam went away for just that section. I'm happy with that. So I'm going to press OK. Now, just like we did before as well, uh, we can hover back over to this area and we can edit this. So we can either remove it again, or in this case, maybe want to adjust the length. So I've clicked back in there and now I'm just gonna adjust the length of, of that effect and I'll press okay. So I'm pretty happy with that one. And so let's go to our tools again. And let's have a look at some of the other things. So we have an insert as well. So we could insert a whole new recording. So uh, maybe you've started a recording and realize you've missed a whole section uh, or you want to add in something at the end. Um, you can select new recording and that's going to take you back to that screen recording section there. Uh, or maybe you've made a previous screen recording that you want to add in. Um, so you can use the existing record uh, there um, and things like that. We also have the narrate button as well. So again, maybe you didn't record it with any audio and you wanna add in a voiceover. So we can select that, drag the section that we wanna add in voiceover 
into so it will record only where um where we've got that purple shaded area and then we would press start and that will start the recording from that section and that will allow you to to record a, a new voice over there in this case i'll, I'll press cancel uh, but one of the other things I wanted to show you as well was the overlay section. So this allows you to, to put some images or, or text or shapes over your um, your video. And and that will help you again just like highlight certain things. Um, you could blur things out or, or add in some text. So in this case, maybe let's add some text in. So first off, I'm going to select the area that I want the text to appear. So I want it to appear from here to here. Uh, now it's giving me this text box here, so I can just click into there. And let's just say, I'll just put my name in there. Um, so that's what, that's the text that I want it to write, but now I just want to change the, some of the formatting of this box around it. Um, so maybe I don't want it to look like a, a dialogue call out box. So I can change that. Um, so first thing I'm going to do is look at, so I, I, I like it being the, the font being black, but maybe I want to change the background. So I'm going to go to my background tab and a color and we can put in a custom color or maybe I'm going to put in, let's put a gray, that sort of gray blue color. I like that. We can sort of, you know, change the shape. Maybe we'll make it rounded. Uh, do we want to, do I want a shadow? You know, these are all just sort of design things. Um, and here it says call out. So in this case, I'm going to get rid of it, making it look like a dialog box. So I'm going to change that to no, and you'll see it gets rid of that, that little um, bit there that makes it look like a dialog box. Um, and there are other various, um, you know, formatting tools that you can use there as you would in any sort of, you know, word processor. But let's say I'm happy with that. I'm going to press O done. Now it's giving us some options for the for the in and the out, for instance. So uh, this is how it's going to appear. So do we want it to fade in? Do we want it to do something um, in particular? So in this case, I've got I can select in, and I can select a few options. So maybe we're going to get it to uh, we'll get it to do a wipe. So we'll get it to do a wipe. That's for the for the in, and I'm going to select out. And maybe for the out, I'm going to do a fade. And I'll press done. And I'm going to have a quick look at that. So let's do a preview. To the right of that again, we just have the weight of the drawing that I'm going to use. And so now I'm looking at that, I'm thinking, actually, that's a bit too long. So I don't need it to go for that long. So I can shorten that period there. And I think I'm pretty happy with that, but I just want to move where it appears. So I want it to appear, say, above me, so I can click and drag and I'll press OK. And so now let's just have a little play of that. To the right of that again, we just have the weight of the drawing that I'm going to use there. So, so I think that looks pretty good. Now, again, you know, you can use these in so many different ways. Um, there's quite a lot of things you can use there. Again, I've got things like um, the arrow as well. You know, if we want to highlight something, maybe we want to highlight this logo. Um, and there again, you've got your other features there. You can play around with those, find something that you like. Um, and, I'll, and I can drag this over to where I want it to begin. It's okay there. And one last thing that I will show you as well, uh, if we go to our tools, uh, we've got the speed function as well. So maybe you've got some um, blank air there somewhere that you want to you want to speed up a thing, or you're showing a process on a computer, you know, in a program, and there's a loading section or whatever, and you want to speed it up. Uh, we've got our speed speed button here, and so you can select speed, drag that over the area that you want. Again, remember the, the effect is going to be applied to wherever that shaded color area is. Um, we've got some options for how fast we want to do that. So let's say we do that. I'm happy. I'll press OK. And now you can see that it sort of truncated that section there. It's sped it up. You can do the same thing as well with slowing down if you need to. Um, but there is quite a range of different tools in here. I've only shown you a few of those. Um, great idea to go in and have a look at all these. 
um, they certainly help. They certainly um, allow you to have a bit more freedom with how you record and what you record. But let's say with all of this, that we're happy with that and we're ready um, to publish. So let's go to our done button here where we've finished with all our edits. I'm gonna press done. That takes us back to this screen. So you would have seen this screen at the start of the video. Um, and now we've done everything. We've added in the title or description. We've done our trimming of the start and the end and we've pressed our edit button to, to make some edits. So we're ready to upload. So now I'm just gonna select upload. And you'll see that's just going to take a little bit. Now, this was a bit of a longer recording, so uh, that might take a little bit longer than, than some of the other ones that we've just done. Again, if you've spent 15 minutes making a video, uh, it'll take even longer than this one. So just give it a moment and, uh, and it, you'll see it appear in your Canvas Studio library. Okay, so you can see there that it has come up, upload successful, press continue. And you can see our video there processing. It's almost done. And there it is. So now we've, we've added a screen recording into Canvas Studio there. Now, once you've pressed upload and it's in there, generally that means that video is finished. It, uh, you, you can't edit it anymore. However, maybe you've made a screen recording and you want to make some edits to it after you've already uploaded it. Well, there is a a workaround to be able to do that. Now it's not perfect, but there is a way to do that. And we'll explore that at the end of this video series. Uh, but for now, essentially that means we've recorded a video, we've edited it, and it's now here inside our Canvas Studio library. Uh, so in the next video, we're going to take a look at how to embed these media content that we've got in our Canvas Studio uh, into our Canvas pages. So you may want to put it in a, in a, in a page, uh, into an assignment, into an announcement, that kind of thing. Um, all of that will follow the same process and we'll go through that in the next video. Thank you.